An analyst, ex-player, Australian surfer, plumber. And G'day. Joining me today. G'day. You want to say tour so everyone can be freaked out? All right, guys, we're going to go on a bit of a tour. Tour, that's right, of a tour overpass, of overpass. Yeah. So let's get this pistol started again. Let's not forget it was just brute force on the T-pistol from Cole last time around. They went yard for a biff and Config got three kills. The same can be said for big strategy. They want to use bodies taken. for info. Yeah, lots of space taken. Sewer control. There's no one on A right now. They might get completely locked out here, Alex. Fountain walk. Keto gets a lot of info and actually finding some great headshots. He's difficult target for rush to find eventually the bullets. Oh, one out. Potential flank on Zantares, Tabson, and Searson looking to join. They're all going to be coming from that flank other than Tizian. So his duel with Config could pay dividends. Here they come flooding into rush, though. He hears them. He's holding a tight line, and that's the duel. Another. Searson needs to go down. Rush can't stabilize. He got the double kill, though, and so a 3v2. They have the numbers. Tizian still advancing from bank. An important frag found. Both now separated, and Flames playing the dank flank, even here on the pistol. Keep him busy, he says. Config. Oh, no. He really does find the headshots eventually. <laughs> Last few bullets. Clean as you like to finish. Thought he'd made a meal out of that. So keep your eyes on Config. After he goes big on pistol, that type of form traditionally continues through. He's a bit like the Hulk. Once you make him mad, <laughs> he gets big and nasty. So this is the type of map where you might see him get up close to the 15, 16 kills in the first five or six rounds of the game here. But this is well handled. May as well have been in a one on two there, considering how far away Blame was. He was literally playing that one just for himself. But this is where Big have a chance to bounce back. They force board in Sirison, the scout, of course, the Deagles and Utility. Deagles on a map play like overpass. The range here is spicy, but so is this scout tagged up straight away. And there he is, Config. Just watch this man, I'm telling you. You got a feeling. I mean, it's certainly starting strong. A 3K on the pistol, takes the AK straight into the next round and draws first blood. You really can't desire much more of a stronger start. Tamsin's got his work cut out for him here. Good grief. Tizian here to fill the gap, and it is going to be an important noisy. jump peak. Yeah, very noisy. Blame. Looking to find Tabson, they isolate the jewels. That's big stuff. The flash from Tizian, he doesn't peek on it. A smoke for survival now, as the bullet's surely going to finish him off. He's so low. Lives to tell the tale. Oh, even more. <laughs> Tizian. He's dead, surely. He's so hunted, yeah. Poison will find him eventually. So, Mr. Zantarez steps up to the plate. An armored deagle and a dream. They still have this smoke on Keto, and they have rotated over here, but they would have to hit some huge headshots right now to make this one possible. Those Deagles have to sing, and Config says no. Keto goes down. Zantares, that's a nice one, and he even gets the second. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, that was a quick one. Yeah, you give these individuals just a moment, and they can seize it, seize that opportunity. See what that's done to Big Clan. A nice shot, though, from Zantares. You can see if, they were, if their spacing wasn't as good as this, could have been much worse. A chance for him to pull the trigger. JKS was right behind him. It was a millisecond in that. So they didn't uh, scavenge up that second AK that was with Blame. Uh, sorry, with, with Config. So it was a little bit more costly. And see Config just limping in with a Deagle this time around, knowing they're up against the pistols. But it's a four-man stack with nades here. And Big can play multiple different ways with this. Wait for the B player. You can, mo you can nade them coming up Sandbag or Monster. Or if it is going to be the A finish, come towards the uh, drop-down position, line up your HEs and nade the traditional plant spots. So this one here will be a, a drawn-out affair. It is just those USPs and then the Deagle again for Zantaras. The nades are going to be the main impact. Confit can surely take some liberties as well. He's not going to be too concerned about giving a um, Deagle into enemy hands. So he can go and get that information a little bit more of abruptly. The nades are maneuvering the airstrike, the tactical pack. airstrike. I mean, they can nade the plant on both sides, right? Exactly. Uh, the, one of the only problems for complexity here is if they play themselves. If they go way too late round and don't enter the site until the last 20 seconds, that's where they come into trouble. But this info from Config, lovely shot. Yeah, give me another one of them. Config's already drawn it. Nades really making his life difficult. He's on 20 HP, but at least the nades aren't on the plant. And yeah, well, they're not running out of time this time. Clean as you like. Still 50 seconds on the clock as the round is converted. Nicely done. Little triple from Blame as well, padding the stats getting himself started nicely. Okay, so Config hasn't bought in just yet. Still rocking that Deagle. They have a MAC-10 on JKS and one for Rush as well. Let's see if this is a bonus round. The pace from Complexity might be punishing here as we move into round number four. And if they want to just keep their investment very low, a B play would probably be a good option. Config's been given one of those MAC-10s, so away we go. See what type of approach Complexity have early. This is their map pick. If there's any quirks in their gameplay, any punishing maneuvers that they've been holding in store for Big, we'll see it early. 
Is he in? Watch your head. Oh, there's a third for good measure. And that's his fourth death. This one, probably the one he'll remember most. His toes are visible. Tabson wants to take the duel. JKS jumping to evade the spray of Tabson. Not so often the uh, evasive maneuver of um, JKS, but it certainly was viable there. Oh, Sirison playing with fire here. Still hanging around. He's the only man on the A bomb site right now. Ouch! Okay, so he's dinged. He's putting pressure on, but that Molly's going to lock him in for seven seconds. Sirison finding a kill. This is crucial stuff now. They need to kill Tabson. They do. Conflict's surely going to go looking. Oh, he wasn't ready for the push. Tabson's taking him. A crucial front duel now. The bomb's deep into connector, and Sirison's going to have a field day, baiting them in. The crossfire is strong, unorthodox as it may be. Zentaris has even got Rush booked. There's nothing Rush can do. Great crossfire. Blaine would have to have... Uh, yeah. He won't. He's been met by Searson's AWP. And we do see Big take the first in the fourth. 3-1 the score. CT's back on the doors. And uh, you'll see an AK-47 for Tamsin into the next round of play. Tizian does need a drop. They should have everything else they desire, though. And you can say the same for Cole's T-side. This was a great shot. Just punishing that Cole push. Once he got the double, the rest was history. Searson locking their push towards Tabson's position, so we didn't need to overextend. This roster's played a lot of maps big this year, has uh, obviously seen the introduction of Keto and Sirius, and they've already played 244 maps, and that's in this year alone. Overpass, one of their higher win percentage, 71%, so comfortable ground for them. And Sirius will be an impact player, their highest rated, and key for their entry jewels. You can see it looks like a default spread in the early stages from complexity, but with a heavy B presence. Actually, it might even just be a monster lurk. They're Ooh. looking for frags. Yeah, JKS got a big jewel here. Oh, wait, what an adjustment. There's another head. Oh, JKS is making it look easy. Keto does try and keep them at bay. Tabson wins the duel to keep the round competitive. We've got a 2v2 now. The Molly stops the plant. They're actually going, going all the way around the world. The right call. Yeah, and Searson's so pushed up that they won't have an advantage here. He's still convinced he has to retake. They're flashing over. And by the time they swing in, they'll be like, oh dear. So the point of rotation now might have to be back through connector. I wouldn't like to go up through CT spawn with all those nooks and crannies. And Sirison thinks the exact same thing. He's going to get a move on. Heading quick over towards long. There is a chance to punish here. Rush is playing off angle. have to hit a really good shot here. Because Searson can, re uh, can adjust and react so fast with this AWP. Hello. Yeah, that's an easy one for Searson. Getting difficult now for Config. Look at the angle he was opting for. They've both chosen to... Smoke for the bomb. Rotate astutely. Kit on Searson. He'll be responsible for the defuse. Config wants to find the hunter before the defuser. And that was Tabson. Great play. Big recover. And Rush is death. He'll be kicking himself for it. Falls to the star-studded orping roster that the uh, Searson boy brings. Five frags for him. He'll be get given his signature weapon once again. Yeah, and I know that uh, Keita said that, you know, that for JKS, the roles that he has on overpass, he's not too worried. I think that's a fair assessment, but if Big want to start to bully that position of the map, maybe there's just a couple of uh, real-world sims that he's not quite used to, the timings on the pushes, getting caught off guard. And then we move to the CT side. If there's a heavy lean towards B, we know all those nade stacks, we know all the boosts. So it's not going to be an easy game, and you would Ooh. look to pressure somebody like that, but they're going to purchase back in. An armored Glock, no less. Poison planning to scavenge away what he can. Zantares does catch a little flack on the drive-by, but no one on the boost. Wow, Tabson. That's a lot of info. Yeah, and that's a very deep smoke that they're operating with as well. I'm not quite sure how that one got thrown on down there. But they need to think better of that. And the smoke alone should indicate that a player is up close and personal. They don't want to give away a rifle here. If they go for a one-for-one -one trade, that is going to work well for complexity. Spotted up now. They might not even push this out of the map. Look at that tight line he's holding. Ooh, Ooh. Wow, JKS actually took down Blame. <laughs> I think that was one of their Kevlar vests. Rush in the underpass has been found out. The nade blowing the door off does give them that visibility and it makes it a whole lot more difficult for Rush to demand that control, certainly with the weapon he had. Sirson. Equipped with the zoom banger and to be tested here by JKS. It's a free frag and just as their attention's drawn, Tizian. Swings on up. This is a clean round from Big Clan. Another four left standing as they do equalize. Three to three. 
So they've done a deep Molotov there with Sirius and overseeing with the AWP and Tabson literally just pushed on up. So there's a couple of aggressive moves that Complexity will need to look out for here. And this is only the second time officially that this Complexity roster since the addition of JKS will be playing Overpass. Oh, bit of a nightmare there. Keita's camera not frozen and we get another look at that beautifully made bed. But it's only been 12 maps officially for this Complexity roster. So early days. But high expectations as we get back underway with the guns. Heat-seeking missile not going to land. And pushing B, they're pressuring JKS right now. The backyard defender has been pushed all the way back towards spawn. So this information is going to be huge. They can actually cheat a player over towards A. Flash the long warper off. Oh, Searson just got slapped. Config just cyber bully Searson. What a shot. Oh, and Poison's added to the list. He's thrown a little retweet into the mix and Zantares trying to stabilize. He's unzoomed, it doesn't matter. That's a colossal double. Makes it a whole lot more competitive as they did hit a banging few shots there. Taking the German Orper out with a Deagle headshot on the jump. I think it was actually the AK. Just a swift reaction from Config. So JK is still over towards B right now. Is worried about all this aggression. You can see just how far he's tucked back, but nobody's home. This is going to be seconds off the clock. They will have to clear their tight corners. Spacing will have to be good, and Zentaris can even rotate back towards B. They're going to have two players on the site here. We've got smokes for heaven. There's a Molotov to work with. Complexity have a little bit of utility, but still getting in is going to be difficult. Molotov here on Tabson. They have some HEs to work with as well, so still damage to be done. 30 seconds on the clock. This one's going to come down to the final few seconds. Three smokes. It's going to go from nothing to everything, but will there be a frag prior to utility? And Taras is the one to determine that. Will they be ready? That's the perfect weapon for the job. He just needs to be precise. He couldn't. JKS presses his nose to the screen and, and finds seconds. the headshot. They do need to plant. Blames Molotov off five. He's holding it and they can push him. Oh, what a win. They can't plant. They can't win. Nikito just has to survive. Great stuff. Big deny the plant with a single incendiary. You said that time was starting to become a problem and that's going to be the timeout. We saw Keita's head and hands in the round prior, that following it. Oh, let's see how that one worked out. This is the shot from Config. Searson just gets knocked off. Gosh. Second bullet as well. Nice stuff to see. This was where the round was really won. Poison and Config were so far ahead of the rest of the players on Complexity that after their deaths, the territory wasn't even in their favor anymore. And ooh, that is going to be very frustrating stuff right there to lose with that little detail. And yeah, the frustration from Blame F, understandable. The mode is so difficult. Yeah, I, well, they were operating with three smokes. I don't know where they all went. Good question. Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. <laughs> Smoke on the plant. Problem solved. So they're just operating with this saved AK from Rush. A couple of deagles, config into a scout. They've made it a little bit more deadly as they've just left spawn. So complexity don't want to give up just yet. One round away from breaking the bank and mollies have missed. So that's early space that can be taken. And oh, Sirison almost caught off guard. That hurts. Of course, the nade finds the one man with no Kevlar. Poor old poison half to start. JKS taking a lot of liberties in towards sewer control. He's not going to be pushed to the same extent he was previously. Interesting to see what game plan complexity go for. Are they going to continue with the pack, doing the set nades, working as a unit, going for those set pieces, or are they going to allow Poison to have his chance on the defaults to try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sirius and on the AWP battle? But what is that? Ooh. Poison? Hello? Tabson is going to be scratching his head if it existed. It's been knocked off his shoulders. What a start that is. All of one rounds like this many a time. It's a free gun on the ground as well, so if they can get their hands on it. It's about twisting the knife now. One more, a CT looking for troubles, and Tara's pushing for info. JKS, it's an unlikely duel. He's not really ready, but he still gets it. Keto trades, but again, the numbers starting to level. Rush with an important trade. Searson holding farm. Searson needs this shot. Config surely doesn't have a chance. It's just a deagle. Does jiggle him out. Blame trying to push him in and Config's hit it. They're turning this round around. It's only Keto dueling with Blame. Oh. Aided by Config and they turn it around. Deagles and armor. Config closes it out with style and class. That is a freebie of an opening right there. You do not get a kill like that every day of the week. Poison starts us off with a frag onto the leader. Look at this. Nonsense from Poison. You know, there could yeah, be. Maybe could I'll just take a shot. There, I guess. Oh, man. <gasps> 
Oh, and then Config, of course, has the ability not only take on Sears and baits the shot, stands in the open and one bangs him. <laughs> Oof. Poise right there from Config, and it was needed to force by right now from Big. Oh! Okay, there we go. That was a start. That was a hero warp, wasn't it? Yeah, he's gone all in. Oh, lordy. They all have. This could be the changing of the guard. Cole have a chance here. They don't want to rush yet. We've seen the pace that complexity tend to thrive within, and it is that slow, methodical crunch on the T side. I got my answer to whether they let Poison work with that ult for Jules straight off the bat. As soon as he gets the big I mean, green I, in his I hand. understand Sears trying to take a, an aggressive line, but he was practically standing up there. It was a full body visible as the flash came in. Made it really difficult to tuck back in in time. So just a hero play going awry. Absence recovered the orb at least. So there is a bit of life in this big clan by, despite the early casualty. Well, note the smokes that are remaining as well. One for Tizian. So if he drops that at any juncture, he's over towards A right now. There's a kill. 45 seconds. It's going to get dicey. Not if Poison pulls off another. Keto still a threat. Rush, no! He's been caught by Tabs in a quick scope. Now Collar on the back foot. After such a hero round, they need a hero play. Config so flash. Keto's even stabbed him. Oh dear. Config. Even on Overpass has a history with knives. This time it's him that gets stabbed. And that pulls Big straight back into contention. That's only going to put the complexity Deagle round as a blip on the radar. Yeah, if there's uh, one map that is very, very difficult to play against the pistols, especially if you lose control. Look at this again. Look at this. Don't the get more flash than that. To pull out your knife and standing next to the guy the entire time to make a frag. That is some wild stuff right there. And a huge round to win. Not only did they save that AWP, been He's not been working for the Cole boys. No, it's just so many angles. You lose those jewels. It's all over. It's so, right now it's double orbs. Config's taking space. They might not even know he's passed. If yeah. he goes pedal to the metal right now and just continues to run forward, he gets some timings here. How quickly will they look? Tabson's on his way. He tuck in. Ooh, he's Ooh. been spotted. He's been spotted indeed. Not an easy shot to hit by any stretch of the imagination, especially when there's an orb oh. peeking into Conf. Oh my God! <laughs> Nobody can challenge him. That deagle is practically an orb in his hands, and he's once again given them a chance in a round they had no right to. Blame builds on it. The building blocks are there, big, starting to put their fists through the desk. Keto's trying to bail them out. There's one that slipped the net. Blames on the site. Poison bringing the bomb in right. Keto needs a frag here, and he's met Blame F's AK. Oh dear, big clan. Falling to another deagle round, two in a row, and it's Config who just puts Searson in his place. Sintaras to clutch, brought down to 50. JKS, has he been working on a flank this whole time? He has, can he clutch up now? Sintaras is trying to save them. Two shots is all it takes to the bottom. What a spanking Config has come in, a man possessed to pull a fifth back, and look what it's done to the CT money. Oh dear, this is just a beautiful Searson. display. Bang. Look at this. Individual ability on show from both teams here. In the last three rounds of play, just some bangers of shots being hit. None of a pretty nasty smirk on my face after a round like that. Send the man long. Let him crack open some heads. I mean, it, if I'm serious, I'm scared to peek a deagle now. Oh, so he's jumped, right? And he's, he's got his head lopped off by Confit. Yeah, and then he's, standard he's taken a cursory right eye or long range, and he's, he's lost his head. Destroyed. Well, they're Sisson, bouncing back. Trying to bounce back. I like the chances. Tags up one. Blames in the smoke, though. Could get sprayed and pushed. Oh, he's dealing with it well. Some Lots serious damage. damage. This is perfect. And these are the kind of rounds here where Big can do a lot. They forced JKS back into spawn. Now they can heavy rotate to A once again. Those pistols, that Famous, it's very deadly. Config and Poison both operating cool. with nothing. Yeah. Unless Rush pushes for info late, they could be walking into a stack here. Taps in an elevated position, a one bullet with a P250 would be enough. He catches his toes, another adjustment needed. Oh, this is great from Blame. Handled. Problem solved. They can go wherever they want with this. Centaurus reveals his location at the cost of Blame. Need oh to be careful here. Centaurus continuing to be a threat. He's even going to recover an AWP. Could Config's position be the element? And it is. Too much of an element of surprise. And it is the 13 frags for Config. Some serious impact to start this. Overpass off with a bang, and this is Blame F just playing him out of a slightly sticky stack. Even the third one here is nice, runs into his line of sight. So Tizian trying to help Keto out. He ends up going down before him. So six to five, and now with the money broken, Big have no options. They have to take the save. Complexity are looking very, very good for a seventh round here. Big operating with almost nothing. It's just going to be a P250, a flash. We've got 
One smoke in the mix that's been lobbed over towards B is a bit of a fake. There's nobody home as it will be the A lean. Flashes and nades early, holding them at bay. Too long, three towards the bathrooms and Blame's about to have a lot of company. Here's Long, and he knows he's got the perfect weapon for the job. Bang, 1200, bang, 18. Keeps adding more and more stacks on stacks. Config doesn't quite finish things off. It is getting a bit messy now. Keto, more than capable of finding another, but lots of weapons lost. Still recovers some of the primary goals, an AWP and an AK-47, call seven. Oh, just have a look at the money. Big won't be able to get an AWP for Sirison right now unless Keto drops it, and then that means he'll be operating. Still goes for a scout. Yeah. The dude is so obsessed with the scope. It means he can at least do his normal roles and positions, and he can actually get out of dodge a bit quicker. We saw how much impact he had in that previous force by round with tags. It made the round interesting. So if he can do similar scenes again, even drop a nade on top, could even get himself a kill this time. There he is, exact same play up towards party. Scout in hand, this time less players to deal with. Triple nades, sound out towards B. Nobody home to receive, and it looks like Complexity want to start heading back towards B. They've had a lot of problems on this side of the map so far. Yes, and peeking over the smoke, and Poison's already caught some flack. He does trade. Is he ready for the Keto long push, no though? Yeah, just gets straight wall banged. That's quite the trade. Good information, though. AKS in the power position, the nade. Oh, they've opened the door, and this time the CTs get punished. Perfect time to drop a smoke. They push into Zantara as a good and important trade. JKS deals with a smoke push perfectly. Keto last spotted towards the toilets. Yeah, just has to save here. Three on one. No way back in. If he can go and get that AWP off Poison's Corpse, it's just over here. It'd be a great save for Sirison going forward. But Blame's got a good idea. That might be on the cards. Already starting to hunt. Already starting to have a little bit of a look. Would need to get a move on right now. There's a lot of ground to cover here. Bomb yet to be halfway ticked. Rush has just cut the space in half. And Keto's aware that the chase is on. Oh, the timing. Rush has got him. Rush has the kill. That's the AWP back in the hands of Poison. That will not be a purchase for Big going forward. Such a priority save for them as a squad as well. Eight to five. Really convincing stuff here. And you could tell the jig was up. There was a lot of bodies over towards A. So they had a good indication that it wasn't a standard hold. JKS finding frag drop smoke. It's just round winning with the information they were already working with. So we're going to be seeing a bit of an economical here, a quasi buy, if you will, just P250s, some Kevlar vests. The thing is, in Counters right now, you never know what type of buy you're going up against. You can have an idea, but still, there's these hero rifles and orbs, and now you're looking at an MP9 as a purchase in. We have nades. It's all deadly. There's good damage done to poison. Blame's trying to mop up the mess. He's pushed them back at least. These are the ones where I start to worry a little bit more yeah. for complexity, and not because they do too much wrong, but because this is where big seem to strike, and everyone just gets that one kill that they need. Oh, look at this in the smoke. Poison, careful, bro. Making a lot of noise. Taps has got the timing here. No one's there to bad babysit. This orb is so exposed. Is knife? One shot, headshot, closing the gap. Suddenly, things do start to downward spiral. Config's looking to punish, though. There is nobody on a site. They're so pushed forward. Config could be the difference maker. You can see everyone else just pressing pause. It's being held by Tabson. Oh. Shots. Another Tabson being sprayed down. Config manages the spray just about. And that is going to be the A hit. He's locked down the rotate as well with his deep positioning. He's chosen not to drop util. And that costs him his life. Tizian does find the frag. Now they'll pick up a weapon for the retake as well. They've got Kevlar. Keto trying to wrap the smoke and left. Yeah, rush. All too prepared for that. The flash just a little too late. JKS makes this round look like a ninth. Yeah, Zantara's just wanting to see if he can maybe get that AK, see if he can get a kill. Going into the next round of play, they will have to invest. The loss bonus has built for big now. They get one more crack at this, but it should be nine for complexity. Zantara's without a kit. Only with an MP9. Doesn't have too many hopes. There's a frag. JKS falls. That's all it is, just a bit of extra money. Maybe the AK, if he can escape, Ooh. that's a nice shot. Rush finishes him off. And there it is, nine to five now. All right, well, big. They've taken a couple of gambles here. They've tried to push the friendship a little bit with some of their aggression, trying to catch complexity off guard, but it is just so difficult to know what they're going to call. You're going in here with your own game plan. Hard to counter strat what doesn't exist, and it's only one map on record for complexity with JKS and the roster. He's doing a decent job over towards B so far. 
They are trying to bully him. You can see there is a clear approach for them to take that backyard control, but as we get underway for the final round of play. Citizens going Aggie Yorping. Rush, consistent presence there. Once again, tested, but it seems that one shot is all they want. A warning shot. Keep Rush honest. He'll be taking his time on that if not can cancelling it altogether. And some aggression towards with water. That big control. JKS will no longer be able to just sit back, relax, and focus on Monster unless his teammates are holding it. Ooh, another visible. They're pushing. They're taking this control. Kito has to respond to the Monster Tunnel's push, and if he gets caught through the smoke, he doesn't show the tracer fire. The silenced M4, not enough. Config can't adjust as he pulls out the right. A Org, and this is Tapson. Oh trying as hard as he might to try and defend the B site, but look what they're doing, a full pivot. Rotating all the way around the map. He's trying to catch the tail end of it, won't spot blame, but he'll be able to, of course, call it clear. So it's gonna be a bit of a wild goose chase. He needs to try and pick up some jibblies and wibblies here. He's operating with no utility. Never mind. He's dead. Poison's got the rotation, and that's 10 5 on the half. Big on overpass. The map choice of complexity. They're struggling. They move on to the T side. Is there anything left, or is it a 2 0? Ready for battle, big clan. Really are up against uh, the odds here and up against complexity as well. Not only down in the series, down at the half by a large margin, they're heading into the attack as well. And this is complexity mixing up the map. Well, I don't think big clan came into today's series expecting to be here on overpass in map two. Cole 
Not only did they pull an Inferno out of the woodwork against Fnatic and surprise us, they continue to do so by whipping out an overpass against Big. Thinking it not only surprises the desk, but their opponent and they're profiting from it. Quick recap of how that first half went. We learned that Config has not changed. Config still is an impact player that can turn rounds on their head with only a $700 pistol. A couple of examples you're about to see here. Searson had a nightmare. $7,000 to 700, and it was not just once, but twice, but thrice. Making that AWPA watch as the round is lost without him. Very impressive stuff from Config so far, Chad. Yeah, one of the stat lines that backs that up, he was 5-0 and oh in terms of opening duels. And as you mentioned, at least three of those were against Sirison, who is an impact player, is normally one of the keys in terms of opening frags. He managed all but zero. He went zero and six in his opening fights and with only eight kills to his name, the star open needs to show up in the second half to continue the stat lines in this one here. Out of the 15 possible opening kills in that first half right there, Complexity managed to pick up 13. That is a damning stat line. 10 to five. It is the T half from Complexity that got them there, and it should be no dramas Dude, to close it on out. See that first death start on Searson as well. 46% okay. of the first deaths in that first half was Searson the Orpa. Yikes. That sounds ridiculous. And you can see that he really did start off all right. That was, of course, the anti-eco. But yeah, the Orpa being nearly half of Big's opening deaths is just not a stat you can really count on and convert on. Our machine joined by Sponge. GG.bet believes Cole have got this in the bag. It will be the first head-to-head -head victory against Big Plan in four best of three series historically. This is the second time they've met with JKS in the oh, roster. And it seems Config is just off to his usual antics. Takes a clean headshot on that USP. A perfect pop flash catches JKS in a second. Unfortunately, catching their teammate on the hunt. Keto has a P250, as does Centares. There is a lot of room for these P250s to pop heads on these jewels. I can't believe Config keeps taking them. Take a chill pill, dude. They've got no armor. He's like a rabid dog right now. He, he just is. wants to get stuck in. He's going through even more fights. Look at this. One tunnel doesn't work. Let's try the next. Yeah, he is just like, the, you need to give him a chew toy. Just something to get his teeth into. He is so oh. ready for oh. Oh, Rush. Taps away at two. Tizian's got one HP. Rush likely going to finish this one off, you'd imagine. Just a tap, 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 tap in. Three at the uh, Monster Tunnel. Puts the 11th on the board for Colt. Certainly does feel like that complexity roster of, of definitely buttoned him up. And I'm feeling a bit foolish about my big clan prediction. I thought this would be a much closer affair. And it still can be. That's the pistol. Yeah, I just think that this has all come down to the veto. The spanner being thrown in the works. Big picking into normally a comfort map of complexity. He's given them two maps that they are well prepared for. And uh, just in case you're worrying, Keto, he definitely doesn't have one kill and one death in this game. He's currently sitting at 10 uh, kills, I believe it is, and a, a 12 deaths now. So he just had to restart. That's why his stats are looking a little bit skew if. But it's the Force Buy and potentially one of the last lifelines for Big. If they're able to convert this, then we might have a half on our hands. But if Complexity keep this clean, if they obliterate Big's Force Buy, round number 17, we cannot fall to the wayside. Big need to put up a fight here. Through the smoke. And does get caught. Good start. Really good start. Config trying to bail them out. Any initial damage done to him is good, and he's already been brought down to half health. He said, we'll start to plant the seed of belief if they can convert. Centaurus is in a real world of hurt here. Oh, not if Tissian's banging out JKS. Rush retreats. That's two casualties to the Deagles. Been such a mainstay in the kill feed throughout this series for both squads. Such a daunting gun on a map like Overpass. Rush All needs the info and oh dear. More than info, he catches Thompson's Deagle. This one is just over. Config, half health. You'd have to find a multi-kill without losing any health. That's the bomb. That's the bomb. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Big, what have you done? Yeah, Zantares just saved them. Okay, so Config falls, does kind of rule out the chances oh. well, Sears in close quarters. Scout doesn't make a miss and even upgrades himself to a nice M4 as well. All right. Well, I said that they needed to make a round of it. They definitely did. That was fantastic stuff from Big. It felt like a lot of the kills just came their way. Flash coming through. Oh, what a shot that was. JKS midair. Gets planted, sat down, and everybody from Big contributing in this one. That's a frustrating round to lose on the other side of things. Big have done a good job here, potentially being able to wrestle back this half. Now, what type of... Yeah, that's what I'm interested in. I think it might be fast. It is. Tech Knights even got AKs. This is going to break them. 
Charging in, and Conte's oh, already again. dealt with them. What? One bullet, short push, dealt with. Dropping a smoke, isolating. Tizian needs to die, needs to die now. JKS, last bullet of his P250's not going to get away. Punished by Zantares. And this is just too quick to rotate so far away. Poison, yeah, you're there, but his teammates still disconnected. Blame miles, miles away. This is Big Clan finding the seventh up against the CT buy. Force buy at that. He knows where Zantares is. He's just going to look to isolate a couple more of those jewels. Doesn't succeed. Yeah, Blame doesn't want to look in for this at all. Look where he is. All the way over in Playground, just checking out the lovely artwork. It's a dragon law. Maybe he'll have a bit of a slide. We'll jump on the swings. So, um, look, Alex, that round, I want to... Uh, Give a big tick, a green one, or a green gold one? star, or maybe even a little sticker or a stamp or, or a jelly bean. Okay, I think I, I either like jelly beans or stars. Okay, well, Tizian can have both of those because oh, nice. there he was the key factor to winning that round. You saw Rush drop that smoke. He underhanded it, but they didn't respect it, and Tizian made the right play. He was able to get on top of two of them and probably even JKS. They saw him flubbing with the aim of the P250, and now Complexity have no choice but to take a save. They can't even go for a couple of light investments here. Poison would be the only one, but he wants the AWP, so he has to take that full save. It's going to be four USPs, the Deagle on Blame. If he can crack open a skull and get a gun in their hands, then we could be talking. But all in all, Big now have a real opportunity to get themselves back into this game. They're going to be setting up the triple boost. This gives them a chance, and they even set the deadliest weapon up. So, Blame, what can you do? Oh, your teammates are dying. you got to do it now. Oh, dear. That's... Suboptimal, I believe, would be the review of that one. Config well with his USP, but I'm afraid it's only the yeah, perhaps of Centares. Very 21. Form, yeah. Little Eco Cobra strikes. 21. Yeah, that's a good haul. I'm going to be very interested to see how big want to come out of the gates here. Now, he tabs and work it out. He's like, hmm, where is he? No, no, no. Oh, hello. Yeah, at that point, you know exactly where the last two members are. So contained very easily. And the guns come out. So it is two Famuses, JKS and Rush, needing to prioritize you. Yeah, this here. is my chance to see how much of a game we're going to get. Okay, Poison taken and there's some Aggie orping, and he actually fancies himself a repeak. He really? calls it clear. Rarely see this. Rarely see this. Thompson's late arriving. Gosh, yeah, that's a bail from Poison. Gets he wants a more, though. Fair bit of info. Staying very active. He wants to be holding party. Makes sense. Long responsibility isn't currently being held. Keto's walked up long nicely, and Zantara's even up once. This T side from Big feels like, a bit like their Mirage. It's everywhere. And Zantara's trying to take some hero jewels. Has actually lost his life. So now an advantage for Cole. Big is still in this, though. Poison's position, it's not great. Not great at all when Searson can just pre-aim that. He just puts his head in the vice. They clamp shut. Starting to advance now. I'm Double Danish defense. Oh, gap. Very big gap. Trying to exploit it. He's actually transferred nicely. Finding Searson has given them a chance, a fighting chance. Thompson and Tizian to clutch up. Is he actually going for the plant? Okay. That's a config frag, and it makes it even more difficult for Tizian now spotted. Has a smoke, needs a frag, and config still gets flashed in by his teammates. They can tuck in. It's JKS and config. They could line up, but config's not making many mistakes. He's actually ca catching Zantares now in the fragging charts. It's amazing how that smoke actually worked in the favor of Blame. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but he dropped it on top of the molly, didn't bloom to cover off the divided position, and from there gets two big impact kills. Interesting approach from Big. It was a bit limped all over the map. They were hoping to win a couple of their fights, and as soon as Zantaris goes down, uh, they've given up that man advantage. Guns back out. AWP still in the hands of Sirius, and need to see him come online now. Only 10 kills to the name. This would be the round to do so. Smokes out the molly, the indication that there could be presence towards A early is through, and they've actually delayed that second molly. I like it. It's not bad, is it? Now, this is where I worry about JKS getting pressured. There's lots of nade stacks that Big like to do. Those ones go shy. <laughs> Flash has evaded as well. They've got quite the monster setup. I'm cautious that if Rush gets nothing, JKS is vulnerable to short. He hasn't got time to reload. He's only got five bullets and he makes it work. Now he's got a bit of room to, be, to breathe. He escapes it. Ops for the MP9. Deep smoke just in time. JKS has successfully passed his test on Monster and we That's spoke to his coach. Yeah, he does. 
said, it's it's a newer map for him. It's not one that JKS has got a lot of history playing, but he's got pretty simple roll. Well, yeah, hold monster. Great molly. They push forward. MP9 viable. JKS single-handedly winning this round. He hasn't done it, though. Keto has three HP remaining after his duel with that MP9. Sinison coming in tow. Blame F, pretty much the one that has to win this round here, or at least find the crucial frag onto Searson. Poison rotating in. The AWP on Searson is currently being asked to plan, and he's got the frag crucially. Keto oh. hunted and Poison finds it. That was close. Doesn't get closer than that. It was a Not moment. Troubles. Yeah, Keto's so low, though. Definitely a moment. Now, Big have some big questions. Look at this. Five bullets. He's like, USP? Nah. Five's enough. Duk, duk. Dink, dink, body. Whew. Bails him out of trouble there. First real test on the B site, at least the Monster Tunnel side, and we do see JKS pass. Cole have 13. They are three rounds away from knocking Big Clan out of IEM Beijing here. Yeah, pressuring that B site twice on those gun rounds. One with a lurk on in, one with a bit more of intent behind it, but now it's just down towards the pistols. They don't have the money to go for a force or an investment that could be dangerous and blame. He's forward, grabs one, spams good for the second, and Poison can even bail him out here. The AWP overseeing things. But look at all this space. Oh, lame. Spotted by Tabson, peeking him. Oh, oh hello. Oh, seen him. Still adjusts in time. Tabson's going to be a bit upset about that one. Souring the mood. Poison push. Needs to get away from Searson, and he's got his friend Config. He can call upon in times of need. No issues as 14 is locked in. Config turns the key. Two rounds separating complexity from a semi final here. Oof. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, they'll be going up against the winner of Heroic Vitality. We have that one coming your way this evening at 6. 30 CET. Big match, that one. Heroic Vitality, they've met two times in the second half of the year. Both grand finals, both heroic victories. And both would be a big task for complexity to overcome. So as we get back underway here, round number 23, scoreline 14 to 8. It's a uh, buy, but it's the best that big can muster. Not stacks of utility, even a Galil for Tizian. AKs for the rest and an AWP for Sirius and Poison's actually taken a lot of territory towards long right now and he's ready for this. It looks like they've really done their homework big. Uh, sorry, complexity on big. Yeah. Oh. Juked on the shot. Now Poison drops all the way back and if they want to continue forward, they have to use their flashes. The indication towards B again. So a couple of nades being thrown out. They don't have a lot to go for these nukes. They can't triple stack nades on any of these positions. They have to just hope for frags. Oh, are they doubling up monster? They might even push this. It's another CT smoke thrown all the way from Blame's position on A. Will delay the B hit. Rush has another one as well. Oh my god, JKS has dropped another. They've got a good read here, and that's the frag. One from short. Searson peeks in, gets dinked. Rush, crucial frag, needs another. Caught through the smoke. Searson onto Blame now. It's all onto poison, so. He could deny with a wall bang. Doesn't take the pot shot. Molly will burn Searson if he doesn't move fast. He's repositioned nicely. Takes a shot, though. Poison can build. And ah, a nice shot from Searson. Doesn't get too flustered by that utility. Could have thrown a less experienced Orper off, but Searson just finds the angle that's safe. Holds the line. Nice round as well. It's broken the bank for complexity, and I think with the percentage plays that we've seen out of them, they will just take a partial buy here. We wanted Searson to come alive, and he's done so. Big three frags for him. Nice one there. On to Blame, just rotating in, trying to deal with that sandbag position, and then Poison, well, one on two. What are you meant to do? The AWP, not an ideal weapon to be retaking with. Giving themselves a chance now, Big. They get this one, they're onto the double digits. Three USPs, a Deagle, and a P250. Couple of HEs in the mix as well. Danger afoot. And Big, well, B is open. If they were just ahead right there, which is their inclination, they get away with the empty bomb site. Centaur is leading the way. The footsteps now over towards A. Fountain, they will not be heard. So Big are not aware of this push, but they'll know that the site has been stacked. So regardless, the bomb will go down and they can set up all their little post plant positions. They're going to have smokes as well to lock this off. Big have found their 10th. How messy is this going to get though? If you're complexity, you want to keep the economy at bay, get two to three kills. Maybe even try and wipe them out, keep them with the bomb, but they've got to get past Santara's first. Look at this angle. Clears close so he knows he can hunt. He wants a couple. Greed costs him his AK. 
this and start with another. So it will just be that single preserve rifle, but they'll take what they can. As you said, big 10, complexity 14, small gap made smaller. And maintaining all of their rifles as well sets them up for success in closing this gap. Cole can test them. You see the faces there. Left to right, you got Yatizian, Searson, Zantares, Quito, and Tabson. He's been learning his German. It's been a while since Zantares was, uh, was a conversation topic in terms of integrating into the roster. He's, He's seems to be he? fully, yeah, fully fledged big clan member as well as communicating with them. As he was working on his German. That was the last we heard. That was back in December of 2018. Jeez, so it, uh, it's amazing how quick the time has gone, but we focus again. 2018. Yeah, wild, right? <laughs> Take yourself back. Centaur has joined 2018. Who, wa who was I back then? Uh, was he? Same guy. Yeah, maybe. Same job, same game. Couple of grassy footsteps. Keto's taken a lot of liberties and tucked in before Blame's jump spots him, so. Blame's alone as well. It's a four-man beeline. Yeah, this would be very, very effective. Bomb's going long. Flame's so low. They're so paranoid about the previous hits on B that this is actually going to be a bit telegraphed. A smoke enabling Keto to walk up, but maybe they flash through it because it is going to be some quick pace, quick step on Keto as he advances. Oh no. They have no info. They're, they want to push Monster. You can see JKS and Russia thinking about it. But they're already about oh, they're to faking they're bursting, B. bursting, straight on towards A. Blame, is he rotating? They'll have to play a full retake setup. Yeah, they have bitten the bait so hard. Might Big plan here, you know? Of an A site open for the taking. Oh, this kill, they need it. Great spray control. Actually now they'll go for head. it. A retake, a full five versus four Wait. retake. It, look, they are saving, they're all scattering. I thought with that kill, the number advantage, they might give it a crack config. You need to be very careful. You don't want to give up these rifles. The boss man said save. The boss man said save, definitely don't die. Not going to get an angry boss man, but I, I think that might be... Oh, he's too far away. He won't be able to upgrade his Mac 10. All right, will Complexity get maybe one more of those, maybe two at most within this game, where they can put down their guns and try and save in this kind of fashion? You don't often see a number advantage uh, save like this, but the fact that they gamble stacked B, blame even rotated over, they bit on that fake so hard. You're going to feel a bit silly or if you're on the big side of things, you're going to be feeling very, very happy that that call paid off. Tizian looking, lurking, Rush, will he think better of it? Everyone stays tucked in and they hold on to their guns. So now the chance to reinvest, get that full utility up. This would be a bolstered buy round for complexity. Tabson could upgrade from that Mac 10. Looks like he wants to stay fast on it. Well, you've just exploited them on A. You go back to B. Yeah, well, the thing, the question is now, what kind of approach do complexity go for? And it looks like they're not going for that four-man B lean. So B would be the right call, would be the right play. And that's where the bomb's headed within the early stages here. It's just Sirius and selling the standard default over towards A, dropping that smoke, throwing a flash, and then getting on out very quickly, but squeaky door blown off. We've seen a lot of this playing into the current meta. Here they come. Oh, JKS is so flashed. Trying to drop the smoke, channeling them all into his cross says, but he second guesses. Rush trades. The Germans are halfway onto the site. Rush was barreled. Surely they'll pre-fire him. He tries to duck it, but Keto gets him. So much space as the bomb goes down. Good nade damage. Cole running out of opportunities for this. The nade again, tickling. Poison's low though. Maybe three. He's hit his shot onto Keto. They'll flash for Blame's advance. This is a big frag off the flash. And Searson's the one to pull the trigger. Uh-oh, running out of options, running out of chances. Blame's already moving away. He's saving, telling Conflict to do the same. So right now, Complexity need to take a timeout. They have to discuss their options here because they are being outplayed. You can see JKS not feeling comfortable there. Multiple positions that he's looking at exploited. You've seen a few times. It's not as simple as just stand and fire, especially when Big have these well-rehearsed executes. The flashes are on point. You're not quite sure what flight paths they're running with. You can see multiple smokes dropped on the exact same position there as part of that defense from Complexity, and that's another round falling at the wayside. Big are looking good now. The economy is built. It was the trade, but yeah. Rush it, didn't it, have a smoke. So I guess in my, it, typically in that crossfire, it would be Rush because he's on that ramp holding short. It's a perfect smoke. You often see teams throw. But because in the absence of that, JKS turned to throw his smoke, then thought perhaps they're swinging on the smoke, and that was enough doubt and chaos for the frags to come their way. Big 12. Here we go. It's not going to be an easy finish for complexity. 
tested by the brain power of Big. They're going aggressive. They're trying to take some room, get an early frag here. Bolstering the B defense, oh. but this has a timer. Yeah, I thought that nade was going to do good damage. They actually used that as a sound cue to retreat. The problem is they've been bullied back immediately, so their game plan's already unraveled. If they hit B right now, they have the number advantage. There's only two on the site. It's JKS and Rush again. Flashes. They're boosting. Rush and JKS. B site set up the big deceit decided. They're capable of besting. Another flash. Rush isn't ready for this. He could get very easily get caught. Uh oh, but they've slipped it. He's been having a solid defense, especially upon the flash XX of Big Clan. Bombfix rotated into B as well. They will be well equipped to receive this. Utility wise, Rush is smoke. He's dropped it, monster. So now they'll have about 30 seconds when that smoke fades. They're going to gather short, Rush. No, no, no. Is he, on, is he going for aggression? He's just going to hold this angle, hope to catch them as they sweep. Oh, they're so close. Rush! Oh, what a timing! Huge. He's unloaded all of the bullets. JKS partners up. The two B defenders have won them the 15th round. I say that with bated breath, but JKS, he demands it. Takes himself not only the double on short, swinging into Monster for another pair of frags. That's 15. He's been struggling on B. Crucial time to deliver it. Look at the timing on this push with a flashbang. They are all doing the dance. There's nothing they could do. It's such a dicey play as well. Yeah, there, man. We're watching Tabson looking. If he swings at any point, Rush margins. goes down. Yeah, really playing with it right here. Uh, complexity, but just one more round that they need. Wow. Now 15 to 12. The guns are back out. Both teams with full buys. How far can they push this? Mollies are missing. Lots of early flashes towards A this time. Zantara is quick towards the B. Sewer showing a lot of presence, but I think they're going to tuck quickly back up through connector and hightail it over towards A. No one's got the bomb, so it might just be smoke and mirrors. Oh, that's such a good flash. Tabson knows where Poison is. And he's trying down. to push him down. Oh, the strafe is so good. Poison couldn't hit the shot. Tabson's completely Still no bomb. outplayed them. Yeah, I don't know if this is a mistake. It could be punished. Blame's already gone down. It may seem like it was a completely redundant error. Tizian's all the way back to pick up the bomb as they take space. Config. Hunting. Absent jiggling. Molly. And a smoke. It's good. Obscuring of the vision. Config is being found out. It seems like with his 14 health, the dream is dash. Keto's found him. And the bomb eventually arriving on A. JKS was the B defender, is the B defender, and doesn't want to lose his AK-47. So Big straight away responding. We haven't seen many CT consecutive rounds. It was a small burst of three. But other than that, that bomb's been going down. The rounds continue to go Big's way. Even though the scoreline is so close and Complexity are just one round away from winning this, I think Big have playing this fantastic, this T side. Yeah. They're really outplaying Complexity. And that round previous where JKS had the four kill is just the finest of margins, like the tiniest of details. If they're a second earlier or a second later in big different positions, it could have been a completely different round. So now with only the, I believe it's 2,400 coming through for complexity. That is not a, a great spot to be. They're in the recycling, sorry, the washing machine that is the CT economy. JKS will stay alive. No one close enough to take this away. Holding on to the AK. It's going to be a big weapon for them going forward. You can see Rush can afford. JKS could probably work out some form of a drop, whether it be an MP9 or a Thanos. But this was well handled by Big. The fact that they did flub it, they did leave the, the bomb behind. Tizian had to run all the way to collect that one. Still able to continue fighting here. Cole are uh, running out of chances. A 4K from JKS is not something they can replicate all too easily. And the timing, as we highlighted, was just so tenuous. It aligned for them. Keto taking early flak. This is a partial investment from Complexity. They will have a full gun round, but this one is still difficult to deal with. If Poison can find a couple of tags with this scout. Take some initiative, take some chances. I like Config's walking up long. He could get a lot of info. Playground's clear. Config long deagle. Oh, yeah. dear. Yeah, a bit of a mix. Don't know how much he's going to push the issue, though. Rush is so low B, Chad. Cole are going to have to take this info fast. Otherwise, that MP9 is not going to last. Whoa, Rush. Are they gamble stacking? He's actually leaving the site. As they come in. Oh, Zintares gets the cleanest jewel he's ever had. And this one 
Though it started slightly exciting, will end with a likely save. Yeah, the full 30. Yeah, baby. A final round to determine it all. And the thing is, Complexity have had to stay active in some of these rounds. Right? Think of the round where JKS did have four kills. They actually went heavy connector presence first, and then they rotated back over within the mid to late round. It was late round because of the timing. But regardless, Complexity have had to work very, very hard. Remember, it was 10-5 first half. Big have already been able to get themselves nine rounds. Just need one more to tie things up here. We're looking for guns. Blame the Martyr. Lamb to the Slaughter. Tizian spamming away. We'll find another. And now, I don't think JKS even gets to hold on to that AK. Seriously denies it. And they'll have to completely reinvest right here, Complexity, for round number 30. Ooh, baby. We get our Poison Orb. He has been kept very much quiet. Only 13 kills. Maybe send him out towards B early to take a duel. It's a risk, I know. But they need to find it. a frag. Yeah, he's been searching towards connector. He's looked over towards A. Never really too many chances over there. And some that he was greeted with went missing. Looks like he's dropping B. You could be onto something here, Chad. Final round of regulation. Big stringing together a masterful six rounds of the last seven of play to close this gap. Complexity can throw the knockout blow, though. It is just one round. 16 is aggression from Poison. He's missed his shot though, and he's paid a heavy price. He'll be operating with a fraction of health for the rest of this T attack. Tizian, Searson working through the underpass. Wild wall banks in pursuit. Oh, blame. An over peak here. Death of him. And that is an opening for Big Clan. Overtime starting to loom, bomb pivoting upon the frag. They know that Blame's an A-holder, so the bomb is actually heading towards B. I think they're going to try and hedge their bets right now, assuming that Complexity won't heavy stack that B bomb site. Config, if he pushes... Upson's going to sell it. I hope they don't buy it. Well, they've done a couple of fakes and so it's far. It's worked so far, especially with Config's positioning. You can call it early. It should be a nothing's here moment, unless they're all coming long. JKS and Rush surely not going to get thrown off by this we one. we go. First test, Centaurus adjusting. Oh, oh! Spray, I said he couldn't do it twice. He does find three. JKS pulls complexity back into the final round of regulation. Searson and Tabson asked to pull up their socks, tighten their laces, the bombs on Monster. Tabson, oh, it's a crucial duel and Rush has won it. Barely controls the spray, they're low. Searson makes a wise decision. We've seen what he can do with the AK. That nade looks destined for glory. It does, Dunk, Rush, Searson, known for his clutch capacity. Config pushing up short, a missed shot, and it's a push from Config. Complexity have successfully weathered the big clan storm. We will have Complexity, the international roster, the juggernaut, present in our semi-finals, and they'll be waiting in the wings for the winner of Heroic Vitality, which is coming up next.